is only the most amazing pony ever. She's beautiful. She's caring. She's kind. I am so lucky to have you as my full sitter. I'm the one who's lucky, Twilight. <laughs> You're a princess. I'm just a regular old unicorn. You are anything but a regular old unicorn. Sunshine, sunshine, lady likes the wake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. <laughs> <laughs> I am going for a hoof of cure, and you that is not. I am not going. I am. I, I, I am. paid for three I, this no, month. I mean, my girlfriends are all getting their hooves done, and you said, and oh, oh, sweetie, oh. <laughs> you just did that thing. How many unicorns can just spread love wherever they go? I only know of one, and you're marrying her. You're marrying Cadence. You're marrying Cadence. I hope I'm not interrupting anything important. Cadence. Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. What are you doing? Cadence, it's me, Twilight. Uh-huh. I've got to get back to my station, but Cadence will be checking in with all of you to see how things are going. I think I speak for both of us when I say we couldn't be more excited to have you here. Right, dear? Absolutely. Well, we'll let you get to it. Cake. Chick. A sculpture. Chick. Best darn bite size apple fruity you ever tasted? Hmm. Chick. I do. Do you? I do. Mwah. Princess? Please, call me Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Hi, Princess Miyamore Cadenza. You come to check out what's on the menu for your big day? I have. <laughs> Delicious. I love, love, love them. <laughs> oh, shucks. Why don't you take a few to go? I know how you brides can be. So busy you forget to get a little something in your belly. Did you see what she... Oh, you should have seen how she acted back there. I don't know when she changed, but she changed. Please, call me Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Did I hear someone say my name? Your Highness! Let me just start by saying what an honor it is to play a role in such a momentous occasion. <laughs> uh huh. Is my dress ready? Oh, uh, uh, yes, of course. Um, I've been working on it ever since I was given the assignment, and I think you'll be pleased with the results. <laughs> I was hoping for something with more beating and a longer train. Oh, yes, of course. And those should be a different color. I think they're lovely. Me too. I love them. Make them a different color. Gee, maybe her name should be Princess Demandy Pants. Okay, let me see. We've been over the key. The dance. <laughs> Perfect! If we were celebrating a six-year-old's birthday party. <gasps> Thank you! This was my mess in my house! And now I have to start from scratch! But I, I thought it would make you happy. Happy! Happy! I... I just need some time alone. Sleepover rarity's going. Why, it's smashing. Huh? I just wish we could do something special together that didn't include me goofing anything up. Oh, the Sisterhood Social. Applejack and I do it every year. 
You and Rarity can compete against other sister teams in all these neat events. <gasps> that sounds like the perfect way for us to hang out. Rarity will think it's an excellent idea. What a ridiculous idea. A contest at Sweet Apple Acres. It doesn't sound very clean. So what, now you're back to hating misses? Sweetie Belle, watch your tone. I am still your big sister. Right, and any sister who cares about her sister goes. Sweetie Belle, honestly, playing silly little games in the dirt is just uncouth, with or without a sister. Well then, maybe, maybe I'll try the sister of social without a sister. In fact, I think I'll try the rest of my life without a sister. <gasps> oh, I'm the one who's ruining your life. Really? Have you looked around this place? I'm the one who would be better off with no sister. Well, it looks like we finally agree on something. Neither of us needs a sister. Deal! Deal! Goodbye, hun, sister. The sisterhood social was uncouth? Yeah, uncouth. <coughs> Wait, what's uncouth? It's not just the social. She thinks I'm uncouth. Honey, Rarity thinks everything's uncouth. <coughs> what's uncouth? It means uncivil, you know, bad-mannered. <coughs> exactly. Sweetie Belle, just give Rarity some time. She'll come around. Sisters always do. Not sisters like Rarity. Come on now. Apple Bloom and I got some chores to finish up on. Maybe you can help. You sure you want me to help? I just mess everything up. Oh, come on. That's just stinking thinking. Watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good catch there, Apple Bloom. <laughs> the bruised apples, we gotta collect them all for the pigs to eat. It's a lot of work, so we make a game of it. Wanna try? Um, okay. Ow! <laughs> You're right, it is hard work. That's why we do it together! together. <laughs> Weirdy never wants to do chores together. <laughs> oh, that work ruined! Thanks to Sweetie Belle. Oh my, it's usually a big mess in here. <gasps> Idea! This is genius! I shall call it Full Spectrum Fashions! Why, if Sweetie Belle hadn't. <clears throat> well, no matter, she still shouldn't have touched my things without permission. Hm. from Sugar Cube Corner will cheer you up. No, it won't. A party will cheer you up. No, it won't. A lovely new chapeau will cheer you up. No, it won't. Come on, Apple Bloom. It's just a cutie mark. Or lack of a cutie mark. Shh, that's not helping. that we have here. Why, it's Apple Bloom, my dear. Oh! What has happened to you, youth? Ah, you've gone and chipped your tooth. Come with me. I have just the trick that will fix you up quite quick. I tried everything, Vicora, and still no cutie mark. Well, I'm gonna be as old as Granny Smith and still have a blank slate. Your frustration is well understood, but one must be patient for all things good. Ugh, I've heard that from every pony I know, and now from every vibra I know. I'm just too impatient to be patient. 
I just want my cutie mark and I want it now! For your cutie mark, you will have to wait. We must fix that tooth before it's too late. Now, drink down every little drop, and this mixture will mend that chip on top. Oh, my star apples, you did, Sakura! Golly, you have tonics that heal all sorts of ailments. Bad bones, bad back, bad breath. Yes, little one, it is true. I have many a healing brew. And not only stuff that fixes the bad, but stuff that brings the good. Good health, good hair, good heavens! Hmm. I bet you can mix up a brew to fix anything. There are many mixtures in this room, but none for what you want, dear Apple Bloom. A magic potion does not hold the key. For a cutie mark, time is the only remedy. Fine. What you got going on there? I am brewing up another mix for a rooster and his chicks. Seems the rooster has lost its crow, making mornings very slow. Hey, I've seen that flower blooming in Ponyville. What is it? It is one we call Heart's Desire. A dash will ignite the rooster's fire. With heart's desire, his talent comes into view, and he'll give a mighty cock a doo doo. Sowie! Heart's desire, huh? I mean, but what is this? I've run out of amethyst. I must go get this purple flower for my brood to have full power. Yeah, you go, you go. That's all you can do, huh? competition, so I'm going to have to take some points off. <sighs> Listen, turtle. Tortoise. Whatever. You've had your fun, but I think you and I both know who made the cut and who didn't. You didn't. 
somewhere you can have, but seriously, go home. You're starting to creep me out. So, anyway, you're all outstanding competitors, but there can only be one of you who's number one. So the final tie-breaking mm. contest is going to be... Pause for dramatic effect. A race against... Me! Kazunite. Actually, Ghastly Gorge isn't scary. It's fun. I've flown through it a million times myself, so obviously I'll be at the front of the pack. But whichever of you make it across the finish line with me will have proven you can keep up with me and will have earned the honor and glory of getting to be my pet. Ready? And I bet modest is not one of them. No, but she is kind of awesome. Never fear, your friendly neighborhood Rainbow Dash is here. hero thing might be going to Rainbow Dash's head. You may be right, silly. And then I zoomed into the well. I knew it would be dark and dangerous, but I didn't let that stop me. Danger's my middle name, Rainbow Danger Dash. 
Thinking back on it, I acted pretty awesomely heroic that day. That day. Awesomely heroic that day and awesomely arrogant ever since. Mm-hmm. Hey, Applejack, how would you like to be immortalized as my friend? Immortal what? Are you taking notes? Yep, I've been hoof-picked by Rainbow Dash herself to write her autobiography. Um, autobiographies are supposed to be written by the pony they are about. Maybe for your normal run-of-the-mill ponies. But I'm far too busy saving lives to stop and write. That's why I hired Spike as my ghostwriter. Ah! Spike the ghost! I say, that's one way to make an introduction. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I didn't see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Well, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm, a pony with expensive tastes, I see. Oh, it's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. Again, I'm really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony worth bumping into. Listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Me? But of course, my dear. Well, I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, Rarity. Rarity. Pro, seeing the derby from a VIP box is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Con, going to the derby cuts into the amount of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro, Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Canterlot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con, Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. My ponyville friends will appreciate my hard work more than any pony. I hate to let them down. I won't. Opal, I am going to the Wonderbolts Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants. He's sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. No! And it's Fleetfoot's ball of stones! <laughs> Bravo, Rarity! I say, how did you know Fleetfoot would be victorious? And Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? Uh... Why, she's... She's the, the Wonder Bolts. Trainer, of course. Staying at Canterlot Castle, and she knows that Pegasus is training the Wonder Bolts. I told you all this was an important pony. Oh, oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, really. Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. What's happening to me, Twilight? I don't know. Think back to last night. Did something happen? Spike, what did you do after I saw you? Well, I went to talk to... Spike! Huh? You went to talk to who? 
Oh, um, I don't remember. Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried about you. You're usually not so grabby. My arms aren't usually this long either. What's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will Guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave real boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So, what do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon! That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh, well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster, but to be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks, anyway. Come on, Spike. starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. <gasps> You mean, the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. This amazing broom. Spy! What? Come on, big boy. Look at this incredible broom. Spy! Just about to come get you. <laughs> Apple Bloom's sick. Looks like she might have to stay home all week. <laughs> Perfect as a Piccadilly pear. Smell what? It's already almost sundown. Tomorrow is Sunday, and I only have one more day to figure something out. Hey, look! <laughs>
initiation day, so let's move harvest day instead. They don't look quite ripe. Harvesting apples early never hurt an apple. I don't know. Zap apple trees aren't like normal apple trees. They're magic. How different can they be? Well, if we can't buck them, let's just pick them. Some pony hills can. 